What's going on everyone? We are not back on the water, but we are working on something that will help us get on the water. We are making a kayak trailer. Uh, this is an old jet ski trailer that Toby bought. We've already removed the skid panels that run down the middle, so we're turning this one ski trailer into a double decker four kayak holder. So the plan is to build a box or a rectangle structure. With that re rectangle structure we'll have two posts going up the middle and then uh, two you know rows of slanted support beams that way the kayaks will sit on the support beam so what we're going to do first is clean up this thing it's pretty gross and then after that we're going to get this structure built i'll explain more once we get to that part all right in order to screw the wood to the metal frame we're going to be using these two and a half inch metal tapping screws so they'll un run the length of the the trailer and then we'll put cross members so. That is some moist wood. Moist. <laughs> All right, that did work, however. The tapper took a little bit of time, so I'm going to try and drill into the frame with the drill bit first this time. on it or something we can put the, just like all kinds of little hooks on the sides you know for strapping oh yeah i mean we'll be we gotta find it'll, it'll be accessorized we gotta fine tune her later so surprisingly well i mean worked out surprisingly well we got four bolts running the length here so we're gonna do the other side we're gonna do this side exactly like this side and then we'll box it in we'll put a cross member there a cross member kind of where this white piece is and then we'll put the 4x4 sticking up off of the cross members. All right, a little update for you folks. We have the main structure kind of supported. So the next step is to get the vertical pieces. And in order to do that, we've created this cross looking thing. So basically, this will be the structure support this will get screwed to here and here this is going to get screwed to this one and then the 4x4 is going to get screwed coming up from the bottom up here and then we'll put of course angle pieces to support the horizontal piece so this is again what I'm working on I've already got as you can see this one's screwed on so this is going down and then this piece will screw onto there and this will just be one little piece that kind of drops in and then bolts on so we decided to use treated lumber for this build considering this trailer would see the elements anytime we're out so cost was slightly more due to the the wood selection, but I think it's a uh, overall good selection in the end. Pretty good. 
The uh Yeah, there's no cracks. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be a good blooper. Good thing I didn't get knocked out cold. Yeah. At this point, we decided to add some horizontal braces as we knew the kayaks are quite heavy and would possibly cause these towers to fall over. It's not going anywhere that way. And if we have a cross beam this way, yeah, nice. it'll be good. Tooth. There. I'm gonna try to line your side up with that mark. Top or bottom part? No, oh, that's in the min in the middle. So. For a few of these boards that we used, uh, in hindsight, I wish I would have used the pocket jig. It would have just helped securing these boards a little tighter. Kayaking. Like this morning, it was an awesome fun. We got rained on. Yeah, I bet the bite would have been pretty good. We didn't necessarily have a design written down. It was kind of design and build as you go. We had originally planned on using 45 degree trusses to support the kayaks. However, we were short on lumber and actually determined that this setup would be better for supporting and moving our kayaks. Also would have been easier on our backs for picking them up. I'm just gonna keep it. Yeah, yeah that's fine. I mean, it's not out of the bubble. <laughs> it's in the realm of Hit it with the pocket jigs, that definitely gave it some retard strength. Yeah, because that front and left one is kind of flimsy. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll fix it. <laughs> so I quickly just wanted to show you guys what we started with, this basic empty trailer. This is what it currently looks like. We had to slightly change our design based on wood amount. And here it is just supporting one of the kayaks that we have with no issues. I know at the beginning we mentioned we would have a double decker or two layers to hold four total kayaks. However, we did run out of lumber, uh, so we are going to keep it at two right now. And then in the near future, if everything works out and it's sturdy, we'll go ahead and add another row. That way we can hold a total of four kayaks. <laughs> 